Hello, I'm Larry Cronk, President of the BC Federation of Labour, and I'm joining you today from the unceded territories of the Esquimalt and the Songhees First Nations. And I'm Suzanne Skidmore, joining you from the unceded traditional territories of the Shaquetmik people. This year, for the second year in a row, we're not able to celebrate Labour Day at a barbecue or a picnic or a rally. This year, again, we're joining each other online, where we can express our solidarity and celebrate all working people. It's how we keep each other safe. So in a very real way, not holding big face-to-face events is an act of solidarity. That doesn't mean we don't miss being together, but we can still lift each other up, celebrate our successes, and renew our commitment to building a more just and sustainable world. Over the last year, the labor movement has been working really hard for all working people, and we've achieved some really great victories. This June, we saw the minimum wage in British Columbia top $15 an hour the highest in the country. We've secured time away from work that's paid and protected time so workers can get vaccinated. And the greatest of all of our achievements is yet to come, permanent paid sick leave. The province is consulting with British Columbians and they'll bring in some form of paid sick leave at the beginning of next year. You can take part and fill out their online survey, but don't stop there. Join our campaign and let's keep pushing hard for the kind of paid sick leave workers deserve. Because nobody should ever have to choose between staying home when they're sick and paying their bills. And we'll be working just as hard this coming year for even more changes. Like a truly worker-centered workers' compensation system. Like making sure that gig workers who are often misclassified are treated fairly. Like making sure there's a one-step process for joining a union removing needless barriers to organizing. You know, the world of work is changing, and it's so important that workers' voices are at the table, that workers help shape the future. And in shaping the world outside work, too, we're speaking out for justice, reconciliation, equity, and action on climate change. One more thing that's different this Labor Day is that we're in the middle of a federal election, and we want to make sure that every worker in B.C. makes their voice heard. You still have time to make sure that you're registered. And if you're voting by mail, there's still time to request a mail-in ballot. So think about the issues that truly matter to you, that matter to your family, that matter to workers, and make sure that you vote. And today, let's celebrate all workers. Let's celebrate what workers bring to British Columbia for all of the services, for everything that we need to keep us safe. Let's celebrate workers. Stay safe. Stay well. And we'll look forward to gathering in person next year. On behalf of the half a million members of the affiliated unions of the BC Federation of Labour, happy Happy Labour Day.